I mean, a game of two halves really for us. We, we go into the set, first half 2 0 down, but second half is a completely different performance for the lads, and they get a point and could have arguably get three. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, first half, uh, we'd have never called that coming into the, today's game. Um, the standard of performance was nowhere near where we'd been, um, and it was bitterly disappointing, especially coming to league leaders. And, you know, it's a great atmosphere to play in yeah, and a good pitch. Um, a bit wet later on, but. Uh, we were just uh, not performing first half. Um, obviously, we had words at half time and rejigged it a bit, but it was a great response from the players. You know, it's um, no mean feat coming to a, a rampant uh, and informed Leighton Orient and picking up a point. Mon Brel comes on, he seems to make a difference to the whole team. I mean, he was unlucky not to start here today, but you must be pleased with the reaction he's shown. Well, that's, that's how to react, isn't it? You know, um, wasn't too happy not to be playing and you don't want people to be buzzing uh, not to be playing because um, they want to go home um, having played 90 minutes, but he came on and, and did it ever so well. But um, I say we, we, we weren't at the races first half. We have to be honest with ourselves and we can't afford too many of those halves uh, for the remainder of the season. Um, but showing that character does give it, us off the pitch a lot of confidence moving forward. You say about the character, but it was the effort as well. I mean, for 90 minutes here, the lads were, were running up both at ends of the pitch, and lads have played now 180 minutes over this weekend. It's, it's tough, but they showed fantastic character to keep going. But that's the rigours of, um, of playing at this level, isn't it? You know, and it's uh, they're all fit, fit guys, aren't they? And as uh, as they are at other clubs, and it's a mental battle. You know, and if you tell yourself enough times, oh, I'm feeling tired, then and you're an out of uh, steam and you become vulnerable and leggy and um, you're letting the opposition, but it's, body language has to be right. You have to um, you know, tell yourself you're all right. And I thought there were some real troops out there, you know, that finished the game well and strong and we could have won it. And Anthony O'Connor's goal as well. Did you sense after that that the equaliser was coming after what happened on Friday? Well, it's a great free kick um, and then from Tomo and then he's put in the second. Um, I thought once it went 2-1, Obviously, the home crowd got a little bit jittery as it happens in football. Momentum swung our way. We stopped them playing out high up the pitch and um, caused them issues. You know, high, high up the pitch, we won it back and we had other chances through Matty, through Kaz. Uh, Pato had a good strike as well. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they became a little bit disorganised and not as happy in possession because they were poor in first half and they were looking the team they are and they're probably going to win the league. Finally, you know, two home games coming up. Do you, do you take something for the fact that we could have arguably got three points against the league leaders here who are flying, like you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, with, without a doubt. Um, but we also take from it that if we're as bad as we were first half, we can open the door to any team. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's league leaders or not. Um, so we have to be on it. We have to be mentally sharper than where we were first half. Um, but what response it was, and now we have two days rest before we go uh, and plan for the next game. But... Uh, um, we're, we're relishing the battle.